Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Street Trading coming at you here with our weekly trade recap video of uh, last week's session, 16th through the 20th of August, 2021. Looking at a 15-minute chart of SPY. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, it was a bit of a sloppy session last week, to say the least. Obviously, you had that uh, fabricated run-up into the previous week's closing the Friday followed by uh, Monday's kickoff of the gap down just and just got slaughtered. Uh, the market was under some selling pressure, fill in the blank, uh, headline reasoning, doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, you know, whenever you have the market selling off like that, what does it bring out? That emotional fear in most market participants. And, you know, you have the, the short sellers just waiting to take advantage of that. And they, they, they jumped on board. You have been seeing the, the 50 day defend on uh in spy for quite some time so you know it just leads you to believe it's going to defend it again you know and and you you know not that the history is going to repeat itself we all know that saying but until it doesn't expect it to right but understand that it's also a magnet when prices are heading towards a particular direction so uh gave a, a nice opportunity for a lot of securities that have that were already bleeding out into the beginning of last week's session to uh, continue to bleed out, right? So, you know, you always want to align yourself. Well, depends on how you want to trade the market. We, we align ourselves with institutions, right? So you want to build into position where you're going to buy, right? Where you're going to sell, right? So ask yourself these questions. It'll help you. It's a very simple question to ask yourself to give yourself a little bit of a different perspective, bigger than your set. Ask yourself where are, if you're managing, you know, a billion dollar portfolio or fund where are you getting involved where are you buying where are you selling right so line yourself up in this type of mindset it'll help you answer a lot of questions that you're still kind of on the fence right so um, let's get into how we trade the, this this uh, week um, we had some very very solid trades so that both the downside and the upside offer weekly and daily trade ideas we've been doing very very well with this and obviously the our members are taking advantage as well. We spoke to a number of you guys this week, and again, just very, very proud, very, very happy and proud of you guys uh, breaking out and doing your own thing. Obviously, trading some stuff that we are putting up and doing your own thing as well, and just uh, you know, sticking with the basic fundamentals of the business, and that's how you grow, right? You always you need to understand the basics, and then you build your own quote unquote house. Everybody has a different style, right? When it talks about a house, some people like the modern, contemporary, uh, classic, rustic, whatever it is. I mean, it's a shitty analogy, but you know what I mean. Everybody has their own feel, and that's what the market is as well, right? The, fun, the foundation is always the same. foundation of a house is always the same. It's what you do to the house, the design of the house, right? You know what we're trying to say here. Point is, build that foundation and then build your own style of trading, right? And that's what it's all about, guys. Stick with the fundamentals and then sharpen your skill. Let's get into how we trade this uh, this week. Uh, some stops we took along the way, some of our entries, some things we missed. Talk about some things on the watches that we didn't end up catching, but ended up uh, ripping as well. Just a very very solid week. Um, you know, we'll talk about the week ahead as well towards the end of the video. So anyway, let's get into uh, details. Let's get into how we trade this thing. And um, you know, but before we actually step in, you know, one thing we want to talk about quickly before we get into the member video is low-hanging fruit, right? If you've taken the time to build a, uh, a a daily trade idea watch list, or even for the weekly for that matter, and a security isn't unfolding as you see fit yet, it's not showing that you're wrong, it's just not unfolding as you had expected it to. Until you see that you are absolutely wrong in your thesis, continue to stock it. Because it's very possible that in the next session or the session after that, it's going to do what you expected it to do. But if you weren't stocking it, if you just scrapped the idea and take, took it off your list and kept moving on, then you would have missed a fucking layup that you had already planned for initially. So think about that for a second. Don't get caught up in this race of always having to find the, the daily hot stock you always want to you know keep an eye out what's moving but don't forget about yesterday's hot stock or the day before's hot stock right whatever you want to call hot stock something in play 
keep that in your back pocket keep that on your radar until you are wrong and we're not talking about being in a, in a trade and if you're wrong you obviously hit out no talking about if you're not you didn't take the trade because it didn't set up the way you wanted it set up but it's it didn't do anything it didn't do the reverse it just kind of hung out so you're not proven wrong you're just early in your thesis and that is more than okay can't tell you how many times we are way early and then we get an alert a couple days later and boom our original thesis panned out and we got involved and we took it down or to the upside point is don't sleep on the low-hanging fruit of yesterday's session all right let's get into what we trade this week guys